Good evening, this is Mr. Adams. And Mr. Holiday. And uh, we have no lives. We None watch, at all. We watch our children here at a soccer park. People are looking at us right now like we're, we're freaks of nature. We only actually. vaguely watch them. They're actually doing things yeah, that I don't are probably know. very unsafe. Who knows? I don't even know where they are right now. I'm looking in the distance. Who knows? Yeah, anyhow. But I thought we'd take this, this opportunity to uh, discuss with you the huge distinction between the Jeffersonian and Hamiltonian ways oh, yeah. of, of looking at America and, and government power. And really the source of their original disagreement was about the National Bank. And I thought, who better to talk about that facet of American history than this guy right here? And by the way, I didn't mean to like shoot him. He, he looks like a, a hit. I am. Yeah, he looks like a hit man tonight. So I'm, I'm a tough looking guy. Yeah, so go ahead. Well, I think it's funny when people speak of the founders of the country and they always say that the founders thought this or the founders thought that as though there's one mind. Right. And it's clearly not the case. Serious, or we can seriously see this in the early days of the American government in Washington's first cabinet when the Secretary of State, Thomas Jefferson, and the Secretary of the Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, came to blows nearly over the issue of the National Bank. Hamilton had in mind the idea that the government could create a national bank if it needed to. Jefferson thought that this was a clear breach of the sort of elasticity the Constitution should not be forced to stretch to. The split between the two fostered the creation of the party system, and also made it true that the government would never be of one single mind. And now on to one greater mind, Mr. Adams. All right, did you read that? That was very good. I do my best. You've done this a few times. You can even extrapolate from what Mr. Holliday has talked about to say that not only do you have two different views of the Constitution, but you really have two different views of what America is supposed to be. The America. America. The Jeffersonian view, of course, is that America should be rooted in an agrarian republic. That really, if there is any government power, it should be local, it should be state, because with national power, it is inimical to individual liberty. And when you have large governmental claims of power that are centralized, that leads to huge standing armies, high taxes, and even a kind of aristocracy that he saw in Europe, which is why Jefferson hated all of those remnants of a of an arist of, of a aristocratic society that he saw in Europe. So, what Jefferson believed is is, is a government of, of of limited powers. If it's not in Article One, Section Eight, the government doesn't have the power. And he said that America's future should be rooted in agriculture. That that essentially. Every man should be given one acre, and if he has that acre, then he will be self-reliant. Uh, he will be what we call a physiocrat, somebody who creates wealth through, through labor with the land. Hamilton, on the other hand, really liked the British system, and he mm -hmm. wanted America to be kind of like a, a new British empire. Instead of a Pax Britannica, he wanted to have a Pax Americana. And for that, you needed to have a very strong centralized government, what he called implied powers, and he wanted a large army. He wanted to have a strong centralized government that would be able to organize the country in such a way that you could become an industrial powerhouse. Again, we honor Jefferson. His home, Monticello, is a national monument. We have the Jefferson Memorial in DC but at the end of the day we are a Hamiltonian nation we are a strong centralized government that is a strong organizing power we are a Pax Americana today we, we rule the world when it comes to military and economic might and so these two visions the Jeffersonian about limited government strong individual liberty versus the Hamiltonian view of, of, of being a strong centralized government uh, and being an empire definitely different visions but I definitely think we live in a Hamiltonian nation today you agree absolutely I agree do you think Hamilton worried about a big brother state too big over too many liberties perhaps uh, I think that as long as it was a liberal empire he didn't mind I, he okay. didn't want to be a British empire he didn't want to spread an old aristocratic order uh, that the Europeans had had for four or five hundred years he believed Americans should be liberated from the from the from the altar and from the throne but that didn't doesn't believe that he didn't believe in empire he you didn't. know what Hamilton should have done ducked should have ducked or he should have aimed better when he had the aimed chance. better man birds a bad guy what Emma can I go now what do you want to do? Go on the older kid playground. Yes, that's okay. Okay. Bye, everybody. Word out.